In a time long past, when the sun kissed the African savanna with its golden rays and the stars danced across the velvet sky like shimmering diamonds, there lived a village nestled between rolling hills and lush greenery. This village was home to a young woman named Tiwa, whose beauty and spirit were renowned far and wide. Tiwa was the daughter of the village chief, a man revered for his wisdom and leadership. From a young age, she had been taught the ways of her people. She possessed a spirit as wild and untamed as the African plains themselves. As she grew into womanhood, Tiwa's beauty blossomed like the flowers that bloomed in the wake of the rainy season, and her eyes sparkled with the fire of a thousand stars. But it was not just her outward beauty that captivated those around her. It was the strength and resilience that lay within her soul. Despite her privileged upbringing, Tiwa was not content to simply follow the path laid out for her by tradition. She yearned for adventure and excitement, to explore the world beyond the boundaries of her village and uncover the mysteries that lay hidden in the depths of the wilderness. One moonlit night, as Tiwa lay beneath the blanket of stars that stretched across the sky like a celestial tapestry, a restless energy stirred within her. Unable to ignore the call of the unknown, she rose from her bed and slipped silently out of her heart, her bare feet padding softly against the earth guided by the gentle glow of the moon. Tiwa wandered deeper into the heart of the village, her senses alive with the sight and sounds of the night. The air was alive with the chorus of nocturnal creatures, their calls echoing through the darkness like a symphony of life. As she neared the edge of the village, Tiwa's attention was drawn to a faint glimmer of light, flickering in the distance. Intrigued, she followed the mysterious beacon, her curiosity outweighing the caution that whispered in the back of her mind. Eventually, Tiwa found herself standing on the threshold of the forbidden forest. Though she had been warned time and again to stay away from the forest's depths, Tiwa could not resist the pool that drew her closer with each passing moment. With a deep breath and a silent prayer to the spirits that watched over her, Tiwa stepped across the threshold and into the heart of the forest. The air grew thick with the scent of moss and earth, and the darkness closed in around her like a cloak of shadows. For hours, Tiwa wandered deeper into the forest, her senses alert to every rustle of leaves and whisper of wind. She lost track of time as she ventured further and further from the safety of her village, her heart pounding in her chest with a mixture of fear and excitement. Just as Tiwa began to wonder if she had made a great mistake, she stumbled upon a clearing bathed in moonlight. At its center lay a magnificent beast, its form shrouded in darkness and mystery. Despite the fear that gripped her heart, Tiwa felt a surge of compassion welling up inside her as she approached the wounded creature. Kneeling beside the beast, Tiwa's fingers trembled as she reached out to touch its fur, her breath catching in her throat as she made contact. To her astonishment, the creature's form began to shimmer and shift, transforming before her eyes into the shape of a man. The man who stood before her was unlike any she had ever seen. His features chiseled and rocked, his eyes dark and intense. 
He introduced himself as Yannick, a prince cursed by a malevolent sorcerer, to roam the forest in the guise of a beast. As Yannick spoke of his plight, Tiwa's heart went out to him, her compassion outweighing the fear that still lingered in the depth of her soul. Determined to help him break free from the chains of his curse, she vowed to stand by his side no matter the cost. And so, Tiwa and Yannick embarked on a journey that would test the limits of their courage and resilience. Together, they faced trials and tribulations beyond imagining. From treacherous beasts that prowled the forest depths to jealous rivals who sought to tear them apart. But through it all, their love remained unshakable, a beacon of hope that guided them through the darkest of night. With each obstacle they overcame, their bond grew stronger until they were inseparable, two souls bound together by destiny itself. In the end, it was not the magic of sorcerers or the might of warriors that saved them, but the power of their love and the strength of their conviction. As the sun rose on a new day, Tiwa and Yannick emerged from the depths of the forest. Hand in hand, their hearts are blazed with the promise of a future filled with love and adventure. For in the land where legends are born and dreams take flight, anything is possible and even the most unlikely of heroes can find their happily ever after. And so, the tale of Tiwa and Yannick, the shape-shifting beasts, became a legend whispered in hushed tones around the village fires. A testament to the enduring power of love in a world fraught with darkness and despair. <laughs>